Okay, I think that's it for the machine. It's got a nice shape to it. I can finish it by hand. There we go. Starting to come together. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a close up. I like it. Worked out great. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Um, and I'm gonna wrap it in Wilson's tennis uh, racket tape. This stuff right here. Uh, I know some people don't like it, but um, I just wanna protect everything and um, make everything just that much more secure. Even though this handle is really comfortable now, I'm, I'm really stoked. Before I wrap it up, I'll give you a close up. Pretty nice, rounded. I finished it with um, uh, uh, 120, and it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna wrap it, so it's not a big deal. Um, I started sanding it with 80, and then I finished with uh, 120 by hand, just you know, real quick. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And um, now it's real comfortable. Doesn't pinch my pinky right there. I feel really confident. It's not gonna slide out of my hand. Just, uh, yeah, that's a lot more comfortable. I gave it a little bit of palm swell and a Coke bottle type uh, handle going on there. So it's not gonna slide out of my, my hand. So let's get to this. Oh yeah, get that snap cut going. Hold it like this, snap cut. Oh my goodness, yeah, yeah. Much more comfortable. Grippier, comfortable, not so much shock. I don't feel any shock in the hand now. That was my major complaint on the stock sheath, or the stock um, handle. There's a lot of shock in it, and you can feel the vibration. There we go. It's a lot more comfortable. Got a little Coke bottle handle going. So I'll give you a close up. It's got kind of a Coke bottle shape that I added. And there's a little palm swell. It is so much more comfortable. I know a lot of people complain about this pinky area right here where the, the hook kind of you know, pinches your pinky, well, not not after I sanded it down. It's definitely a lot more comfortable than the stock handle because the stock handle, um, like, right here would uh, dig into my, my hands, right? Every time I would uh, chop or something like that and, and contact ma uh, material, it would just send the shock through my hand and especially right there. And it was just really uncomfortable. And I know a lot of people say that and that's a common uh, census that these handles from the factory are just not that good so i added this wilson's wrap right you can see that and you'd be surprised a little squishiness that this wilson's wrap gives is definitely um absorbs a lot of the shock that uh, was uh, produced by the original handle and I like the white color because it'll make it easier to find. Um, I'm not on uh, some covert operation, so I don't need um, a black, completely blacked out uh, <laughs> blade. Um, there is this part right here. I kind of scuffed it up. Not a big deal. Remember to tape your blade or put some cardboard over it. And again, you know, eye protection, ear protection, gloves, some kind of face mask, because this dust is really bad and it's plastic. You don't want to breathe it in. So I will do a video on making your own sheet. I will probably make it out of PVC pipe and maybe in, um, you know, two or three weeks, I'll make that video. Um, because this uh, you can get it with the sheath. They, they do sell them with the sheath. And I will provide a link where you can buy this particular 18-inch uh, Ontario machete 
and it helps out the channel and I appreciate that because this is a solid survival machete thick um, I know a lot of people don't like the flex in a blade and this doesn't flex too much compared to like a tramatina right and so when you're swinging and you hit you uh, don't want that wobble and this is a little bit more secure now um, I will definitely make a sheath and I will put up a video because this is uh, you know worthy of its own sheath so I'm gonna wrap this video up right here wrap it wrap it wrap it yeah yeah okay so a lot more comfortable easy to do just be safe out there you know uh, protect yourself because these are sharp objects and you're working with uh, dangerous tools and don't hurt yourself um, this is my disclaimer don't try this at home I guess I don't know just just be safe out there okay these are not uh, toys <laughs> I know mine's really sharp and oof, it'd be scary to, you know, have it hit you at, at a high velocity. Okay, so, like I said, I will provide a link in the description box and uh, you can buy it off of Amazon and that helps support the channel. This machete is an awesome machete and I will provide two links where you can buy it with the sheath and without the sheath. It's a little bit more. They're run about twenty dollars I know this one was about eighteen nineteen dollars without the sheath and that's a pretty good deal because this you know lasts a lifetime and they've been around for a long time they've made these for sixty years or something similar and it's proven itself all over the world so this is uh, definitely jungle approved and I definitely recommend the Ontario machete especially this 18 inch it's, I think it's a perfect length for a survival machete uh, camp machete just all around great machete gives you that reach, but it's not too uh, Long to where it's it's hard to carry you just need a good sheath for it <laughs> Especially if you're gonna go backpacking or something like that. So jungle approved. These are awesome machetes If you're looking for a survival machete for your bug out bag Definitely pick one of these up. This can go in your truck. This can go for uh, yard work, whatever Okay, now I hope you like this video give it a thumbs up and I hope you comment. I love the interaction between YouTube creator and viewer. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, like I said, I just uh, enjoy this platform. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I just enjoy the viewers and this is what it's about. And I hope you hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell symbol for when I upload a video, you'll get a notification. And you can watch it and tell me what you think. And until next time, hello. Ah, yeah, yeah. Booyah. Machete time. Just has to be comfortable in the hand because the factory, factory just doesn't know how to make a, a handle. For 60 years. Come on, guys. Ontario, please fix this. Hello. Ha! Ah.